All right, we'll go, let's go through to Criselda, who's at the courts. Criselda, you're at the courts this morning, and we understand that a, a is it a former DDG or a current DDG uh, that's being charged for fraud? Well, that's right, Desiree. We know very little about this case as the SABC and other media had received a tip off uh, of uh, impending arrests. So this morning, three persons uh, were arrested and, as you correctly point out, a former Deputy Director General within the Department of Mineral Resources is a former DDG, as you correctly point out. What we also understand is that the two other persons are former trustees of uh, two mines, and this is the Quirinfontein mine as well as the Optimum Mine. Uh, these three individuals uh, will appear here in the Randburg Magistrates Court this morning. We understand the charges are relating to money laundering, corruption, theft, forgery, perjury, as well as a fraud. Now, what we do believe is that this case is related to an alleged dodgy deal uh, amounting to about 100 million rand. That is what we're expecting these uh, three individuals uh, to uh, the charges uh, that they will face uh, here at the Randburg Magistrates Court this morning. Very little that we know about the case, uh, but what we do know, we can confirm, Desiree, that uh, uh, these three people were arrested this morning here in uh, Johannesburg. They will appear here this morning, and this relates to an alleged dodgy deal uh, amounting to about uh, 100 million rand. The, the accusation at this particular point, what is alleged is that this former DDG may have signed off uh, um, uh, uh, on a dodgy deal deal allegedly for these two uh, uh, particular mines. So we'll certainly hear more inside this court, but what we can confirm is that three persons have been arrested. Uh, one uh, of them is a former Deputy Director General at uh, the Department of Mineral Resources. Criselda, that amount you're mentioning is almost like the case of go big or go home. Uh, do we know the specifics of the deal uh, that, is in, that, the, that is in reference here? Desiree, I'm afraid not at this stage. Much more. Uh, we'll speak to the National Prosecuting Authority a little bit later on. Perhaps they'll be able to shed more details. Uh, given the fact that these arrests were effected this morning, there's very little that we know as the media pertaining to this case. But what could possibly uh, be relating to this is that this is a former Director uh, General within the Department of Mineral Resources. By virtue of the fact that this individual is facing charges relating to forgery, uh, to fraud, I believe, I beg your pardon. Uh, this could possibly be relating uh, to, as I indicated, an alleged dodgy deal relating to the value of about 100 million rand. Possibly this individual could have signed off on, these, uh, on this particular deal for these uh, two companies. I'm afraid at this particular point, Desiree, I do not have much details at all as uh, these arrests were made, were made this morning and uh, we're yet to hear in court. Uh, what we do know at this stage is that it is related to this alleged uh, dodgy deal valued at about 100 million, but I'm afraid uh, further details will be, will be made a bit more public in court and we will speak to the National Prosecuting Authority a bit later on about uh, the details pertaining to what is alleged to have happened. All right, Chris.